My name is uh, Jim Pouza. I'm the Director for Emergency Disaster Services for the Salvation Army. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit this morning about donations management. Now, we'll start off by describing what is donations management, which is essentially the solicitation, collection, and distribution of donated goods and services from the public and from the private sector to those uh, disaster survivors and disaster relief organizations that need it during a specific incident. The first step is, is assessing needs, and assessing needs normally involves uh, contacting your, your first responders or your resource coordinate agency at the Emergency Operations Center. They usually get you the best information on exactly what is needed. Then, of course, once we know what's needed, a solicitation is put out to the public identifying specifically what we need. It could be water, like we have here. It could be cots. It could be food. It could be any types of goods or services that all of the agencies responding in, in relief services may need. The use of a warehouse, like we have here in Phoenix, could be used for collection and sorting and storing those goods are donated. Typically, you want to have your collection warehouse, like we have here, separate from your distribution uh, point, which could be a warehouse, fairgrounds, or, or other operations, uh, or other facilities provided by faith-based partners, government uh, partners, uh, places that are going to be close to the public where these goods are going to need to be distributed. Much of the goods uh, that are collected at uh, these uh, donations management collection centers goes to serve a wide variety of needs. As I said, it could be anything from uh, water to cots to food to, uh, to wheelchairs uh, or, or medical supplies in, in some cases. It depends on, on again, on the specific uh, unmet needs of the incident. And these, of course, once we have them collected, part of the donations management process is to establish the network of transportation so we can get them to the distribution centers where the disaster survivors are. It could be in other parts of the state or even in other states. And again, working as a, a donations coordination team, we can deal with those logistical issues involving transportation between the collection centers, distribution sites, and, and getting the, these goods out to the public. A key part of donations management, of course, is having adequate manpower to be able to handle this tremendous logistical task. It takes a huge number of volunteers to collect the goods from the public, sort them, store them, and then ultimately to man distribution centers to get them out to the public. People that wish to donate their time and services as volunteers, of course, could go to such uh, sources of information like uh, Arizona Emergency Information Network to find uh, out where they could volunteer, where the local volunteer reception centers are set up that, that could handle uh, registration of people that just want to help out and provide uh, some unskilled labor.